Get ready with me, July 4th edition. I wake up in the clothing I wore yesterday, leaping out of bed in a state of pure panic. It has been seven days since the Biden-Trump presidential debate and I spend every morning walking around my house dissociating from reality while trying to understand who I am as a person. I pound a Mountain Dew and benzodiazepines so I can feel something and then I go outside. The Mountain Dew and pharmaceutical drugs are coursing through my veins at a rate that would kill a horse. But at this point, I'm a professional. I get stopped by the American flag, which seems to have lost its will to live. I can't look away as the flag pleads for me to kill it. I can't. I love you, old friend. I continue my journey down the streets, which resemble the purge. Most people refuse to go outside or resume a normal life post-debate. Children and dogs are kept indoors in perpetuity. There are many American flags to commemorate the day, but most of them look like they're contemplating retirement. I pass the only sign of life, a training academy for the martial arts. The people are preparing for what we all know is secretly coming total annihilation. I go to my physical bank to check on my account balance because I don't believe anything that I see on my phone anymore. I take out all my money and trade it in for lottery tickets as I'm afraid the dollar will collapse any minute now and our currency will be merited by its weight. I end my day preparing for the fireworks, which are an obvious training exercise for the battlefield our country is destined to become. Soon we will all know what our founding fathers felt on a daily basis. And that's my July 4th.